This is an ordinary box. It can be opened and locked by a key. If we add an electronic lock, it becomes an electronic lock box. It is not enough. Let's add this remote control relay module. KR1201. Control the opening and closing of the electronic lock by remote control. Next, we will take you step by step to complete this project. First, how does the electronic lock work? These two wires are its 12 volt power supply wires. The black one is the negative pole. The red one is the positive pole. When it is connected to 12 volt, it will pop out the lock buckle. That is to unlock the lock. Next, the most important device is the KR1201 remote control relay module. 12 volt power supply. There is an RF module on the board, used to receive RF signals. See the wiring diagram. We use a common power supply wiring method. V negative connects to the negative pole of the power supply. V plus connects to the positive pole of the power supply. The remaining three ports are the ports of the relay. Let's take a look at the internal structure of the relay. This is the coil. This is the NO terminal. This is the NC terminal. This is the COM terminal. When we press the remote control, the coil will be energized. Electricity generates magnetism. Electromagnet has the magnet. Attracts the armature. The moving contact will be connected to the NO terminal. A circuit is formed between the NO terminal and the COM terminal. We just need to split the positive wire of the electromagnetic lock into two sections. One end is connected to the COM terminal, and the other end is connected to the NO terminal. This allows us to control the connection and disconnection via remote control. After understanding the principle, we connect the circuit according to the wiring diagram. Connect the negative pole of the power supply and the negative pole of the electromagnetic lock to the V-negative port. Connect the positive pole of the power supply and the COM terminal to the V-plus port. Connect the positive pole of the electronic lock to the NO terminal. The wiring of the KR1201 remote control relay module is completed. The black wire on the left is the negative pole of the power supply, and the white wire on the right is the positive pole of the power supply. Let's connect the power supply and start testing. Apart from lithium batteries, you can use a wired power supply. Apart from the KR1201 module, we also have modules that are smaller in size and consume less power. Connect the power supply. Take out the remote control. First, pair the remote control with the module. Press the learning button. The indicator light will light up. Then press the remote control. In this way, the matching is successful. This mode is the momentary mode. Once paired, it will always remember this remote control. You can directly use the remote control after power off and restart. Press the remote control. The lock catch pops open. That is, the lock is opened. Do it again. After testing, there is no problem with the circuit connection. Start installing it into the box. First, take out the battery. Take out the connected module and the electronic lock. First, we need to determine the installation position of the electronic lock. To ensure proper locking and unlocking, those who have experience can install it in their own ways. Here, I use double-sided tape for testing and positioning. Use the double-sided tape to stick to the position of the lock catch. It should roughly correspond to the latch of the electronic lock. At this point, 
we have determined the position of the lock catch. Then, adjust the position of the electronic lock according to the position of the lock catch. It's adjusted. The electronic lock and the lock catch are locked. Forcefully pry them open. Refix the position of the electronic lock. Then put in the battery and test it. Great! Just like this. Start fixing it. First, Remove the battery. Then determine the position of the KR1201. Since we are going to install the battery outside, we need to drill holes to let the two power wires stretch outside. It will be more convenient later if we need to replace the battery or switch to a wired power supply. Pull the wires outside. Then we can start fixing the position of the KR1201. First, use double-sided tape to roughly fix the position. Tidy up the wires. Then reinforce it with a hot melt glue gun. Remember to seal the drilled hole. Then reinforce the electronic lock. Drill two small holes in the center of the lock catch. Screw in the screws. The electronic lock has three holes. Since we use double-sided tape to fix the position of the electronic lock, there is a buffer between the electronic lock and the wooden board. Screw in the screws. It's very firm. Finally, fix the battery on the back of the box. Test if it's firm. So the installation part is completed. This is your personal remote controlled electronic lockbox. It's very simple. Get started on making it right away.